All right, guys, welcome back to another week of uh, performance reviews where I go over the videos that's been published over the last week, look at some exceptional ones and try to understand the analytics and kind of a reason what really happens behind the scenes for the YouTube algorithm. First up, these videos are a bit too new. Um, 18 hours ago, Nagi's like cross-dressing. I think it's worth to check it out. It's definitely popping off. It's not a surprise that it would pop off though, right? Because obviously, you know, this is probably something that people are waiting for a long time. It's cool to see that a community series again, right? A community series meaning something that, that is not airing right now. It's not a trending seasonal anime. It's something that my audience voted in and my audience enjoyed. There's not enough data, obviously. That's why it's kind of bad to kind of look at this. But it's cool to see that it's performing really well. This is exactly how... It's definitely on the upper end, right? The typical in this period after about uh, 18 hours should be around 2,000 to 2,700 views. But the fact that it is exceptional, it's just great that Assassination Classroom has been a very good pick. It's been a very good pick. Same with Index. But again, these videos are a bit too new. Let's look at Appraisal. And I think that Appraisal is probably going to get dropped at this rate. You just look at the amount of likes too, right? I don't think it's the most important thing, but it's a decent indicator, right? It's a decent indicator to see how many people actually care about it. So community series that people actually care about, like Index, 306 likes, right? 3,000 views, a little bit above. Same with Assassination Classroom. Like, these are great. These are my community members that's willing to watch me for pretty much just, like, what they vote in. This is a great thing. When Trending Weekly Show is done, what are you left with? Your community, right? A lot of people doing anime reactions has no concept about this, but that's why they just fall off and they're dependent on seasonal shows. I'm not dependent on anything. I don't need a seasonal show to, you know, bail me out because at the end of the day, I could just farm community series all fucking day and it's gonna work out. But obviously, you want to cover trends so that you're not limited in the pool of existing audience that you have. And you want to branch out, have new people be introduced to your audience, and then try to convert them into, you know, loyal cult members as well. Um, appraisal Isekai, though, there's probably not enough days passed for the data to really make sense. But you can probably look at the viewership, right? Just look at that. It is just so, so pathetic. And let's compare this and Tower of God. Because remember, last video, I also told you about this concept of even if views are doing bad, the watch time may be decent. Tower of God last time was also underperforming, but the watch time was, it's definitely like on the lower end. But compare this range, 175 hours, where the bottom line is 190 of where it should be. And compared to, let's say, appraisal, are people watching this? Not even, right? Look at this shit. So even though they're both, you know, gray is bad, you know, down area is bad, it's still, like, Tower of God is not on that, like, cutting table. It's decent enough. And compare this, where the watch time doesn't even fucking compete. What does that mean? It means that Tower of God actually has quality audience that's willing to watch the entire video because they care about this shit. It's not the same case for appraisal. Not only does it underperform, the audience that's even watching it doesn't even give a fuck about it except like three people. And I swear to God, your, your ass is fucking lucky that you're a paying member on Patreon. So I'm not going to be as mean as I could be. But please just shut the fuck up, okay? Stop begging about if I'm going to drop this or not. Everything gets explained on a video. I don't need to respond to individual fucking comments as if I'm your fucking like, you know, uh, secretary or something. Just given what you're given in appraisal isekai, it's GG. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty much over with it. I'm wasting time. Every one of these videos could have been another assassination classroom. It could have been another index. It could have been another community series. It could be a gauntlet show that we're bringing in, right? Grieving Souls. Let's look at this one. This is probably a bit too new early, but um, a Grieving Souls. It was definitely a setup episode, but it's still did decent enough. Grief Souls actually does really well. Look at that. And the upper border of what should be typical in this period. The watch time also phenomenal, but not enough data to suggest, you know, these kind of stuff. So let's look at some older videos. Mm. I want to show you guys. Um, let's compare these two videos, actually. So Mao 2099 is also it's it's honestly underperforming, but I think Orb is definitely going to get dropped. And why is that the case? Well, First of all, can you tell the difference here of the amount of, you know, quality community members we have? I think Orb and Mao is a perfect example of a show that seemingly has low viewership, both sides, but the quality is fundamentally different. Mao is definitely underperforming. 
I don't think people really enjoy the setting. I like the show, though. And if you look at the watch time, it's definitely not doing too well. But Orb is underperforming even worse, I'd say. And the difference between Orb and Mao is that the audience watching this shit, there's not enough. Watch this shit, right? It's all like my audience. Notice that Japanese people aren't here. There's a lot of English speaking, you know, there's like a lot of English speaking audience here, even if it's like Southeast Asia or South Asia. Look at Orb. This shit's just, <laughs> look at that. Look at this sub break. I want you to realize how stupid this is that it's such a low viewership. Like 1001 is so fucking sad at this point. But not only that, look at the breakdown of the subs to not subs. What does this tell you when you have such a way more audience than not subscribed people watching a show that is underperforming compared to this, where it's pretty much the opposite, right? Is anyone smart enough to explain to me, interpret this graph right now? Why does it show two which are pretty much both underperforming, but one is way more my audience and the other not quite so? That's right, they're tourists. Tourists from where? From Japan. And I have nothing against my Japanese audience. I'm glad that you're able to enjoy the Orb content. But here's what's happening with Orb. And a lot of people will be very confused and probably some retards are going to be complaining. But these other shows are doing this bad. Why didn't you drop, you know, Mao and you drop Orb? Here's the logic. It's because the quality of the audience that I'm attracting with this show. Mao is community series pretty much. It's got the exact same feel of this isekai shit that we all enjoy. It's my audience, and on top of that, it's English-speaking audience that I can usually convert over to community members. This is a failed project. From the beginning, Orb got hard carried by Japanese tourists. And those tourists also didn't give a fuck about this show after Episode 3, when the plot twist happens. You'll notice that the viewership is significantly high from Episodes 1 to 3. And as soon as the main character changes, it drops off. From the beginning, my audience was never watching this. It was all Japanese tourists. And even then, those tourists are also losing interest. What am I investing into? I'm making videos for a fucking non-existing audience. It's pointless. This is honestly the biggest waste of time. Every video must have an intention. Like, what are you trying to do with these videos? I'm not getting the views. And I'm not even targeting my community members it's just a bunch of tourists who can't even be converted into community members because they're Japanese people who don't speak English. It is a pointless endeavor. It's a failed project. It's dropped. And the saddest thing is, is that this anime is actually so good. I'll probably have to watch it by myself or something, but... This is how, this is how it works on YouTube. The average person can't appreciate good anime. They just want garbage slop. So we'll continue eating garbage slop. Next up. This is an interesting case. So you're going to notice that this is almost getting 2,000 views. This is the healer got banished. Why is that the case? Well, look at this shit, right? I want you to look at the difference of Mao and healer got banished. Healer got banished got like 88 likes. Mao got 166. Something happened here. And I think that people probably got baited by, you know, the waifu. Also, motherfuckers unsubscribing. This is a great thing. I want, to pe I want people to actually unsubscribe more than to subscribe. And you're going to think I'm crazy? No, it's called shedding the fat. It's called getting rid of dead subs so that my audience, every time I upload a video, the algorithm understands exactly who's going to watch my videos. If you look at the engagement, it is so fucking low. I think that uh, people probably saw the waifu in the titties and just wanted to see her for a bit. This show, I'm. it's, it's really underperforming too, right? Like, look at the engagement bar here, compared to here. I should drop Healer too. It's getting the views, though, simply because of probably the thumbnail and the title kind of attracting, like, you know, the Coomers. But views are nothing. Even if the views are there, it really doesn't really mean anything. This is pretty much another show that we should be dropping, but I may check out one more episode. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We got the, uh, we got a double farm. We got the Psychultrist back-to-back. -back. So... Let's look at Psychultrist uh, drama video that I farmed out. We got this one. And we got this one. First up is the original one. People love the drama videos. A lot of people subbing. Some people unsubbing because they probably are just got banned by him or just don't like him for whatever reason. 
Watch time is also fantastic. Drama videos is always going to go like this, though. Drama videos, uh, people can't appreciate the commentary. They always just take off in the beginning and it tapers off. But usually about 10% of the audience will still watch the entire thing, which is nice. Let's look at this one. It's pretty much the same thing. All we got to do is uh, thank the mentally ill for helping me out with just making content. 60-40 split of sub to not subbed. Makes sense to me. Nothing really to say here other than people just love drama and they just want to tune in to see what's going on. And it's majority my audience. Let's see. This is great. Let's compare these two videos, actually. They got kind of roughly the same viewership. 5.6k and 4.2k. Maybe not identical, but in the same ballpark. So, Toma beating Accelerator and Blue Lock U20 may be cooked. Notice how even though there is way more views, thousand more views for, you know, um, Blue Lock versus uh, Index, the amount of likes is way higher. Why? Because obviously, this is a video for my community. And this is a video just for fucking tourists about Blue Lock drama. Great. It's just so nice to see that Index is doing so well. Engagement is probably very high. Yep. Community series will always have higher engagement than others because it's loyal. Like the quality of the audience watching it is so loyal. If you look at the audience, mm, it's fine. It's just all returning viewers, but this is a hit project. 50-50 split. That's nice. Let's look at Blue Lock shit. It's going to get more views because this is a trending shit, right? And... Yeah, the first half is the Blue Lock 11 trailer, and this is the U20 trailer where we're laughing at it. And if you look at the audience, are there new people coming in? There is. The good thing about Blue Lock drama is that there's constantly new people showing up. This is very good for, you know, reaching like a wider audience and trying to convert them into community members. So it's great. Look at the sub split too, right? Nearly like 70-30 split, not subbed, subbed. But over here, you see 50-50 because obviously it's a community series. As much as Blue Lock is dropping the ball, I am very happy that Blue Lock is still making some noise. Not the way that I wanted it to, right? It's sad that it's doing so shit, but I can still profit off of it, which is a great thing for reaction channels. Let's talk about Daima. Daima should have been dropped, honestly, many, many episodes ago. The people don't care about this shit, bro. People do not care about Daima. It is underperforming like it can't even cross 1000 views do you understand how sad that is like genuinely people don't care about dragon ball daima it's because this is not the same kind of shit as dragon ball z or super it's more dragon ball-esque with more slice of life just kind of chill just adventuring without a super strong enemy to defeat with new forms being teased it makes a lot of sense but this is getting this is a very fraudulent show that i shouldn't even be fucking watching right now I'm sorry, Dragon Ball Endures, but you guys have voted with your lack of interest that you don't give a fuck about this. And just like how you'll drop it, I will also drop it and focus on stuff that people actually want to see. Let's see, let's see. Dan da Dan! Doing fantastic as usual. Same with Dan Machi. I would like to first compare Assassination Classroom and Dan Machi because they both got 3.2k views. Let's see the quality of the audience between two different shows where it's actually roughly the same. 236 likes for, you know, the Damachi one, and 263 for, you know, the uh, community series. Let's look at this. Yep. Perfect, what you would expect for a community series. Very good retention, right? Split is always going to be 50-50 across the board. Is there any other thing that we can check out? No, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Why are people finding me through fucking Saikuno? And let's look at Damachi. Damachi got one minus sub. Perfect. Shed the fat. I implore you to unsubscribe from my channel if you don't even watch my content. You're wasting everyone's time. You shouldn't be here. Viewership is very good. Damachi is... Honestly, I said that I would watch Damachi even if it underperforms. I, th I said I'd bite the bullet for this. I never had to. Damachi was always fucking good. Watch time is phenomenal too. And if you look at the audience, it is more unsub people than sub people. And if you look at this, there's a slight bump of new viewers coming in compared to, let's say, you know, this where it's just completely flatlined, right? With the 50 50 split. What does that tell me? It tells me that there are still definitely tourists, you know, checking out Damachi, but 
the quality of the tours is very good. They're resonating with my content and my passion for that much to the point that they could probably be turned into community members in the future. The fact that the watch time is this significant. Let's compare this though. The watch time here probably not going to be the same, right? 388 here, 557 here. But, you know, it's a 1945 video versus 31 minute video. Obviously, this is going to have more watch time. But it's cool to see that, you know, Damachi is doing very, very well. Now, let's compare Damachi with Dandaran. Dandaran, bro, 549 likes. Phenomenal. 6.6k, you know, uh, views. Dandaran is killing it, man. I'm so... I was, um... I thought that ReZero would be definitely the most viewed seasonal anime this season, and it is, but Dan Dan is right, right beneath it, and I never expected that. I low-key thought that Dan Dan would be a failed project for me because the Shonen audience, do I even have it? 1.2k watch time. Now, obviously, you can't really compare it. Uh, I mean, I mean, Dan Dan got two times the viewership than Dan Machi, right? So then you could do a times two for, you know, watch time here. It, it does roughly scale. 557.3 times two. It's not exactly 1.2, right? 1.2k 1. 1, 1. watch time, but it's pretty much the same. The money being made, though, is so different, though, huh? 1131, 2396. Well, because I think the watch time is a pretty good indicator, right? Not only did it get double the views, it got double the watch time. This is like a really good linear scaling thing where it makes sense, right? The views, the watch time, the estimated revenue, all X2 compared to Dan Dan, right? Let's look at the audience tab. A little bit of new people coming in. And Dan a lot of not subscribed people. This is not the case for ReZero because obviously Dan Dan is not really a niche that's usually my audience, but more new people are coming in. They're probably going to, like I'm, Usually 10% of the new people coming in, I'm trying to convert them into community members to get them involved into other shows, but this is great. Revenue, 367 RPM, phenomenal. What did Dan Damachi get? 362, still very good. This is awesome. Usually, I was really hard stuck in the RPM around $1 to $2 for the longest time, but something's recently changing. I'm making a lot more ad revenue, and I, despite the watch time and viewership not going up as significantly, and I think think it's because of YouTube's new enforcement of ads where, you know, ad blockers and shit, they're getting around that. So sucks for you, the consumers. But to me, it's actually an amazing thing where I'm getting paid more money, even though nothing is really changing that much, because finally ads are actually going through to more people. If you want to use ad blocker and stuff, go for it. I don't care. But just like how you will do what's in your best interest, I too will do what's in my best interest. And I won't blame you for it. Let's look at... This is going to be a funny comparison. Let's compare a 1 minute 39 video of I can't believe my monkeys are this dumb versus Goodbye Dragon Life. 206 likes versus 97. Because obviously this is kind of drama, right? Goodbye Dragon Live probably should be dropped along with Daima. Yep, 256 I made off of that. 47.9 watch time. Well, obviously, this is a 1 minute 39 second video, right? Of course it's going to be underperforming a watch time. Over here, though. That is sad, bro. Like, I almost made the same amount of fucking money doing a 1 minute fucking 39. Like, not only did I have to spend like 30 plus minutes to fucking record the reaction, then I make Sir Gregor edit the video. That's more investment of time and money. For what? For something that can barely beat a fucking one take, one minute video of a drama video? Truly shows that people don't give a fuck about this show. And I probably should drop it. Yeah, like Banish Healer, Daima, Goodbye Dragon Life, Appraisal Isekai. None of these shows has any business being uh, in the roster to compete with these community series and great, you know, weekly series. Like, these are examples of great weekly series. Dan 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 and ReZero are exceptional weekly series. You know? Dan Machi right now is a very above average weekly series. And then there are these community series that's also keeping up very long. This has no place on the roster. I've been just checking it out because it was kind of funny with the milk memes and so far, but I think it's about time to drop it. I think that it's probably about time to drop it. And I want to invest more time into other community series. Let's look at ReZero over here. Let's compare... Dan Dan, Dan and ReZero maybe? So Dan, Dan Dan again had 549 likes. 
6.6k views. ReZero has 738 likes and this much. Can anyone tell me why he's not watching Bleach? Because my audience is a bunch of monkeys who only enjoy shitty isekais and don't watch Battle Shonen. That you'll notice that's why I have low viewership in like my Kaiju 8 videos or any Battle Shonen related videos compared to other channels where they seemingly just get 50,000 fucking views per video for the Battle Shonen. But you'll also realize that I have way more views on a monthly average on long-form content compared to those channels that only have a Battle Unga Boonga, you know, audience. There's pros and cons to everything, but essentially, no one gives a fuck about Bleach in my channel. And it's a tragedy because that's where all the fucking views and the money is at. But hey, at least I got the Isekai audience, right? Let's compare these two. Yeah, ReZero is just on another level, huh? Look at this shit. 1.2k watch time, but 2.1k here. Meaning, it's almost like doubled, right? It's almost double the watch time, but the viewership is only like a plus, like, you know, roughly like 1.5k viewership, right? ReZero truly just dominates so fucking hard. I did another thing with the uh, thumbnail testing. And this time, there was no difference in the three separate thumbnails I tested for the watch time share. I think the last time I showed you guys the Don the Don example to show like, oh, you know, the um, dark colors, the red saturated colors yearned more, less watch time, but the bright Momo meme face got more watch time. This time across the board, it was all the same. I think all three thumbnails are kind of shocking and definitely clickable. But not only that, the quality of the audience I have, I don't think it would matter that if I even had like a different thumbnail. I think that the if the thumbnail was, even if I didn't post a thumbnail, motherfuckers would still watch my videos regardless because they know me. They know that I make reasonable content. And if, look at the split, right? You would expect that there'd be way more not sub people, way more new people coming in, just like Dan Dan. But for ReZero, because again, we are such a heavy Isekai audience and we've been building up for ReZero since like what? September, October, right? This is like a three month project in the making. Of course, it's going to be just all my community. It's nice because ReZero's thing that I'm not getting bailed out by. Like, this is not like a trend that's carrying me. It's just my audience and they enjoy ReZero. The engagement is extremely high, obviously, because it's just the quality of the audience I have. Compared to, let's say, Dan Dan, is it going to be probably... Eh, it's kind of keeping up, right? But it's definitely, like, way more higher here on average for ReZero. Because I'm Mr. Shitty Isekai, man. Let's see. Any other thing that I want to really check out? Dude, Index, honestly, is just popping the fuck off, man. It is actually... Uh, yeah, let's check out this one, too. I would like to check out that. Thank you, Holiday Pizza, for that tier one, man. Appreciate it. As soon as Accelerated shows up, like, it just fucks, starts fucking popping off. So many people were convinced that Twadono Index would be just, like, you know, a failure project, but it clearly isn't. People fucking... It, this is a data live situation where cult-like community, they're so strong, they're so devoted. Even though it's not a trending show, it's an old-ass anime. Because I have that right audience that enjoys it. It just does so well. It just does so fucking... And yeah, exactly. Wait till Railgun happens. Because Index Season 1 isn't... <laughs> accelerator reaction, accelerator, accelerator. No, this is Index. But wait till Accelerator happens, man. Like, oh my god. It, 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 sorry, wait till, wait till Railgun happens. It's gonna be crazy. So it's good to see that Index is just popping off. Uh, This is an interesting uh, seasonal, right? This villainous show, which is we're gonna be watching today... 83 views less than usual, it's not bad. 2.6k after a week, I think it's phenomenal. And if you look at the watch time, look at this shit, right? The quality of the audience that watches my villainous shows, they're great because the watch time is very high, despite the viewership kind of near at the bottom. If you look at the engagement, pretty good. If you look at the audience, probably just all my audience, exactly, almost like a 60-40 split. It's a fun show. It's spicy. There's a lot of drama happening. It's 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 fun, but I'm 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 glad that um this is definitely hanging on. And this I think is how the average weekly seasonal should be performing. Not like appraisal, not like Daima, not like Healer Got Banished, right? Those shows are all fucking fraudulent where I'm forcing down random weeklies down your throats just because it's airing this season. The worst thing you can do is make videos that your audience doesn't care about. There's so many reaction channels that think that all they gotta do is cover as many weekly shows as possible, 
but that's why they all fucking fail. If only they could realize this concept that, who is your audience? Why can I get this many views watching Index right now, an anime that came out so long ago? Why am I watching Assassination Classroom and still popping off? Until those reaction channels understand this concept, they're forever going to be stuck in bronze elo. They're going to waste their time and eventually they're going to get burnt out and just give up, right? It's such a simple concept to understand, but it's difficult to get out of that mindset. Now, the a even the Aeon of Horus content is doing pretty well. I was worried that I couldn't cover extra, you know, total content, but it does pretty decent. I'm glad that it's doing well. But, um, probably the final thing that we'll check out, ReZero quote-unquote drama, right? The whole <laughs> break time episode just dropping just a huge fucking bombshell. Break time getting 5.9k, bro. Phenomenal. If you look at this, a little bit of new, more new people coming in. If you look at the reach, mostly through, a decent actually through YouTube search because this type of content, uh, it's it, not many people are making break time reactions. So they're probably, you know, searching in the search engine for that shit. And because, you know, I have, where is this? You know, this there, that it's going to show up in the keyword. Like, by the way, just because I don't include this in the main body of the title doesn't mean that I'm not going to show up in the search engine. That's absolutely fucking wrong. And I think that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it for this week's performance review. What's the important thing important things to that we, we know? Well, it's just reiteration concepts of how even if shows are performing bad or is seemingly good, right? Even though shows are performing quote unquote bad or seemingly good, the type of audience it really shows through the watch time to see how fraudulent those views are. And Orb, I think again, is the perfect example of a failed project where you got carried by trend, a completely new audience coming in, but think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing with these videos. What's your goal? If a bunch of Japanese people are coming in and watching your content and they're subbing, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it depends on what you're going to do after. But I know it's a bad thing for me because those people are going to become dead subs as soon as Orb is over. But the funny thing is, those people have already become dead subs even though Orb isn't over because episode ep after episode 3, people have just dropped. And there's a lot of people, not a lot of people, there's some comments saying, Oh my god, I only watched this channel for Orb. Guess what? You are not the priority. You are, a, you are a tourist and you should be fucking grateful that I even gave you these fucking Orb reactions. The fact that you don't care about my channel beyond just Orb already proves that you're, you're a fucking tourist. And why would I cater towards fucking tourists when I should be catering towards the people that actually watches me or everything else? And that's pretty much it. I think that appraisal will be dropped. I think orb will be dropped. I'll probably give one more episode for a healer that got banished. I'm going to drop Daima. And I will probably drop Goodbye Dragon Life. And the goal is to include more community series those through those slots right now we're going to be actually watching spirit chronicles tonight uh that's another show that we're going to be bringing on which is obviously something that my audience wants to watch but on top of that i'm also going to be brute forcing apothecary diaries to prepare for season two in january and that's what i'm going to be doing to fill in those slots that i'm dropping goodbye <laughs>